Cause nothing compares, nothing compares to you. Yeah, that's right. That's the song that's bubbling up in my spirit tonight. Um, and actually, the Lord gave me that song. Um, I think it goes both ways, though, because nothing compares to him and nothing... Well, he was saying that to me. And I guess everyone else, but nothing compares to you and how much he loves you. But anyways, let's just have a little discussion here. <laughs> I've been getting in the glory zone. I'm like, let me come and calm down a little bit <laughs> so I can read my notes. Um, the only reason I have notes, it's not really notes, it's just stuff I've posted and now I want to do it in video format. So, um, I'm going to just talk a little bit about the wisdom of God and how much more valuable and different is the standard of his wisdom compared to what uh, the world's um, philosophies and deemed wisdom um, is valued or whatever. So, um, I'm going to kind of, I get a little raw and real on like my own personal reflections in life and, and uh, you know, Whatever, I'll just put it how it is. So, pretty much my whole life I've been discounted. It's happened a lot. I don't know if it's a Joseph complex. Like, alright, well you gotta be like, crept on. Well, I shouldn't say it like that, but. Um, in a lot of different ways. You know, we could start with elementary school. Uh, I was put in special ed classes and. Away from all the normal students, or whatever you want to call it, and uh, and that pretty much went all the way up until high school, until they didn't have those programs anymore, and uh, and really, uh, it, it it limited my learning because it was just that I was a little bit slow on learning, on getting things. Um, and by the time, you know, so I, I would do packets pretty much. I had packets that I was given and it was repetitious like, uh, you know, subtraction and division packets. And, you know, you weren't learning what the kids were learning pretty much. And I remember this one lady, I think she was just part of the program, but uh, I, I'll never forget she called me stupid. I don't know in what context it was, but she's like, you're stupid. That's why you're in these classes. And so I think, you know, of course it starts off that way where, um, in a lot of ways, the enemy, um, or the darkness within the world will try and impede on your value, the value within you. And, um, if you don't hold to a certain standard uh, you know, whatever that schools hold or that people hold, you know, with their philosophies and ideas, then, um, you're just discounted. And so, um, anyways, with school, by the time I got into high school, I just wasn't equipped and I didn't learn what I needed to learn. And so, uh, I came pretty close to dropping out, but mostly it was dr drugs. I turned to drugs, man. <laughs> Um, and that was my way of coping anyways, because it was like, okay, well, I'm going to fail, so what's the use of going to class? Um, and then I teamed up with, like, people that didn't benefit me anyways. But, um, you know, I, I did manage to graduate. I finally, you know, overcame it. I went to two different high schools, and I ended up at an alternative school. And I actually learned a lot better there. It was more slower pace. You could do on-hands programming, uh, programs, whatever. And take your time with it and uh, accumulate your credits at your pace. And also it was more visual and hands-on, which was just the way I learned. And it might have taken me a little bit more to learn, but um, I accomplished it. And I got my, uh, uh, um, I graduated, whatever, I got my degree 
uh, diploma. That's the word I'm looking for. But I remember, um, you know, just, I guess there's a wound in the heart of saying, you know, are you really valued or you've been discounted? And I can go into instances after high school, you know, where it's like, oh, you're not going to college and do, do, do. And what are you doing with your life? You know, things like that where you're like, uh, you know, like you feel this pressure. But um, when I came to Jesus, um, I remember one of the first things that I ever asked him was uh, that I, if I could have the wisdom of Solomon. And even when I was asking that, I don't think I realized that I wasn't, I wasn't going by the standard of his standard. I was still going by the world standard. And it was just like, you know, when I read about Solomon, it was like he was wise in all things. Um, but I, I think I valued that more, the wisdom more than knowledge, because I think there's, there's a difference there. But, um, I came to realize though, it wasn't the type of knowledge that man deems, um, valuable, but it far exceeds it. And if you've read about Solomon, um, he was just wise in all his ways, you know, every approach that he did and. It was man's wisdom through him. Um, and I just, you know, it's just, you see how naive people really can be when they realize what they don't know. And I think that was quoting one of the philosophers, uh, Nietzsche or whatever, ironically enough. But he, he got the gist of, really, we don't even know <laughs> we don't know half of what we think we know. Um, and a lot of men, you know, and that's kind of rooted in pride too. Like, what do you know? Um, I know more than you know, you know, or let me tell you this because, you know, I got facts for days and it's like, come on. And that's never intrigued me too. I'm like, I don't really care, you know, some of the things people get intertwined with. But anyways, um... Just, uh, you know, I think we just always have to have eyes and ears to see with what the Spirit is saying. And really, that's the divine wisdom and download from Him. Um, and truly, if we desire the wisdom of God, um, just what's valued in, in the world's knowledge is just... It doesn't even compare. But uh, let me just quote this. I don't even know what the scripture is. But it says, Blessed are the humble in heart, for they will see the kingdom of God. And ultimately, it's just... Um, when we realize we don't have all the answers, a lot of times that's where we do turn to God. And um, in His divine ways, which are not our ways... We come to learn that, you know, since he knows beginning to end, he probably has the wisdom on how to approach situations. And we should probably take a tip or two, you know. And so, um, in a lot of ways, he's redeemed those wounds of my past of being discounted and, um, and deemed as, you know, stupid to the world standards or uh, not a good learner or, um, you know, incapable of of engaging in some of these, you know, topics that people have so much wisdom and knowledge on, you know. And it all falls flat when it comes to the knowledge of God. And, and, um, but anyways, yes. So when you humble, humble yourself and you, uh, willingly come to his mercy seat asking for direction or needing divine wisdom, you know, he'll, he'll gracefully do so. And he'll uh, astound you every time within that. And so that's what I value the most now. I value the wisdom of God and um, his wisdom alone. And in a world that tries to uh, short circuit you or discount you in any way, um, you can go past it and go, you know, it doesn't even matter. Because, uh, you know. You can dive into uh, his wisdom. But anyways, okay, now I'm carrying on. So thank you for listening to that little tidbit. And uh, he also redeems all too. So blessings and take care.